Now that wraps up your forecast. Let's take a little bit of a pivot and let's talk about your weather Wednesday. We have been seeing some very foggy conditions. It's probably the one thing that everybody has complained about when we had that very rainy week. So I thought I'd talk about it for a second. We could see up to two types of fog here in East Tennessee, one of them being radiation fog. And so this is a more simple type where you need some clear skies and also some calm winds. OK, and this all just happens because when we have those clear skies, this fog happens because we have heat rising out of the ground and basically just escaping. It's the same reason that we lose temperature when we get later at night. Now, when you tag that in with what we call advection fog, this can happen when we actually have storm systems coming, and this is an effect of warm air moving through the region. So we've got cold land like we do right now, but then you have maybe a low pressure system bringing some warmer air along with it. When it does that, it mixes up the air below it and cools it down even further and then brings in that fog as we get through. Now, this can also be activated by some of that rain as we get later into the night. But as that warm, as that warm moist air moves over the cold ground, it is cooled down to its saturation. That's where we get the ability for fog. Your temperature and your dew point are the same thing. This can usually happen with a warm front and even during the winter, it can make a lot of ice fog when we have some colder conditions. But here's some more facts about that. Fog can get enhanced in the valley due to cold air flowing down slope from the rest of the mountains. That's why the valley usually gets some pretty dense fog. The sun's heating can either make fog thin out if we have if we have some very dry conditions, but if it's a bit wetter, then we can even see them rise further up and turn into clouds. Strong winds can also help make fog because if you've got well mixed air, you don't have that division between warm air and cold air. And then also high amounts of pollutants can make fog form faster and thicker and last longer. So on days that a lot of people are driving out, we can see those foggier conditions during the morning time. And the last thing, something you might not have realized, fogs and clouds, they're the exact same thing. The only difference is how high up or low they are in the atmosphere. But I'll toss things back over to you, Robin. Oh, thank you for that weather lesson. Very interesting, Tavian.